I am Phil Ashey from the American Anglican Council. We're here finishing up this introduction and orientation to the 2019 Book of Common Prayer. Last section, Documentary Foundations. You know, this is why we're here today. Uh, why we are an Anglican church in North America. Uh, why we subscribe to these, uh, these confessions of faith. And so let me just say a few things about them. The fundamental declarations of the province, beginning on page 766. These describe what we, as members of the Anglican Church in North America, believe. Um, now, if you don't want to believe these things, you don't need to be a member of the ACNA. But if you're a member of the Anglican Church in North America, this is what we all agree to believe on. Because it's reflective of that faith once delivered to the saints. And for such a time as this. Now, the College of Bishops resolution concerning the Nicene Creed uh, talks a, a little bit about the um, controversy over the Filioque Clause. I commend it to that to you. And then there's the Athanasian Creed, which is an ancient Catholic creed that rarely gets much attention, but is one of the three Catholic creeds that shape our belief as Christians today. There's the 39 Articles of Religion. And you'll know from following us on YouTube that the American Anglican Council has done an exhaustive little two-minute uh, segment series, 100 videos, on the 39 Articles because we believe they are as relevant to us today in how we believe and what we believe and how we share our faith as they were when Cranmer and others formed them at the birth of the Church of England. And then finally, we have the Great Jerusalem Declaration 2008 that is the heart of the great global Anglican Reformation that we are a part of through GAFCON. And this too is a great confession. It is, of course, uh, time bound by the circumstances uh, that we were facing in 2008 and continue to face and yet it reiterates everything that we've just talked about in terms of the Catholic creeds, the ecumenical councils, uh, in terms of our uh, adherence as Anglicans in our Anglican tradition to the 39 articles, uh, and in moving forward to the authority and the clarity of the Holy Scriptures as our ultimate and final authority. These are not just historical artifacts. I want to say that. These are statements of what we believe as Anglicans and what we hold dear. They are the basis and the foundation for this great 2019 Book of Common Prayer. So please don't leave them to the very end to read. Take a good look at them now and let it shape your thinking as we move forward together in mission as Anglicans in North America and all over the world. The very last section of the prayer book is called foundational documents. And they're actually, they're, they're documents on which we're founded. Um, the very first document in the section uh, is called Fundamental Declarations of the Province. And it says the Holy Scriptures, the Old and New Testament, you know, are the Word of God and nothing can be taught apart from them. It says those kinds of things. Uh, the next piece that's there is the the House of Bishops, the College of Bishops teaching on the Nicene Creed, that we're going to translate the creed into English um, as close as we can possibly get to what the original Greek says. The third uh, document that, that's there um, is the Athanasian Creed, which is the third of the Western creeds, originally in Latin. It really describes the relationships within the Trinity um, and again, it's one of the creeds in the West that's always been held along with the Apostles and the Nicene to be uh, central. It's one we don't use in worship, but it's very important in, in our life and our understanding of who God is and how his persons uh, co-inhere. Uh, the fourth is the, um, uh, the 39 articles. Uh, again, these are articles, um, these are declarations about particular theological subjects at the Reformation and they make very plain where 
the Church of England and then Anglican churches stand in relationship to the whole Christian faith. Um, uh, crucial documents at, at the Reformation. The fifth of the pieces is something called the Jerusalem Declaration and his, uh, it has a date of 2008, a really modern document. But again, uh, it, it's a, a declaration of Orthodox Anglicans meeting in Jerusalem on a very significant global conference uh, in 2008 saying here's what Orthodox Anglicans believe with reference to all the things I've just mentioned. Then there are two more foundational documents. One is the preface to the 1549 prayer book which explains why the prayer book appeared at the English Reformation. Uh, the, the final piece is the preface to the 1662 prayer book which explains the historical context uh, in which that prayer book which becomes the, the essentially the, the sine qua non, the, the fundamental uh, the prayer book of the whole Anglican world. So those are the, the foundational documents.